Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover trigonometric function, how to solve them, and uh, therefore trigonometric equation. Okay, solving trigonometric equation. Uh, this is one of the note you have seen before. Uh, all sine, tan, cos. That means all positive here, sine positive here, tan positive here, cos positive here. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. If you go uh, anti-clockwise, uh, we are going to use this. I'm going to show you that uh, so many times in this video. Okay, let's let's have this uh, sine graph y y equal to three sine two x minus one. This is a trigonometric function, and I was asked to solve this one. When we are solving this, that means three sine two x minus one equal to zero. That's what we need to solve. This is actually the combination of two equation one you already know that trigonometric uh, function three sine two x minus one and this one is actually y equal to zero what does that mean is so this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis right and equation of the x-axis is y equal to zero now this trigonometric function means how many times or where this trigonometric function the graph intersect with the x-axis or the line y equal to x in this line how many times or where it intersect that's how to solve this this is this is the answer okay so to do this what i'm going to do i'm going to separate this sine 2x from other and to do that i write down 3 sine 2x and transpose this one to the other side that's one and take this 3 to that side so sine 2x equal to 1 by 3 okay now I have to separate this 2x because this is the angle we are trying to find out so 2x is going to be sine inverse 1 by 3 okay there are a lot of teachers they don't like to use this uh, sine inverse uh, in their paper but when we are using the calculator see that sine inverse 1 by 3 we can get 19.5 degree that's that's really valid nothing wrong with that but i'm going to tell you why some teacher doesn't want to write it like that let's say you have a b equal to c left hand side is the product of two factors a and b and on the right hand side i have some product c now if i want to take b to that side transpose that so this becomes say this b becomes in the denominator end up here now when I take it up there so by the law of indices it becomes when it goes to the numerator position its power becomes negative so I can write down b to the power minus 1 c or I can I can pre multiply or I can post multiply with that like c into b to the power minus 1 it can be written like that so this is algebraic uh, properties this is absolutely fine but when we are doing this, sine 2x equal to 1 by 3. Now, when we transpose this, by the law of this, it might mean like that. We don't mean it like that, but it might mean like that 3 times sine. Now, sine itself doesn't make any value, okay, any sense. Sine theta, that's, that cannot be separated, okay. These two are together. This is one value, but logically applying this rule it can go down there and it can be written sine inverse 3 and it doesn't make any sense okay so this is this is completely wrong that's why a lot of teachers they don't like it this way but if you just put it this form and write it down that's absolutely okay right now again i'm going to show you this sine is positive you can see that sine it becomes 19.5 degree that means positive value and sine can be positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant and say sine positive and all positive but here only tan positive in the third quadrant if you go anti-clockwise tan theta is positive cos theta is positive in the third quadrant and fourth quadrant so sine must be positive in the first quadrant and second quadrant so it must be positive in the first quadrant that's what we already have find it 19.5 degree and another one must be somewhere over here and this value is i hope you remember 180 minus theta if i if i use my calculator 180 minus 19.5 that's gonna give me 
160, 160.5 degree. So this is fine. But look at this, I have 2x. 2x means within this given range. Well, I didn't put that range over here. Let me put the range up over here, or domain of the x, where I have to find out this x is. Let's see, it's going to be in between zero degree to 360 degree. That's the, that's the domain is given, okay? Within this domain, what are the values of x? Now, I cannot divide this value by two, then my whole numbers, the, the values over here will be um, completely different. I, I'll explain that in a second. But when I draw this graph over here, you can see that three sine two x minus one, I hope you remember from the uh, my, my last video how to draw the trigonometric graph or function that negative one is, is uh, actually axis of the curve or we can say that natural line and three is the amplitude. That means from this line y equal to minus one, how far up or how far down it goes. Look at this. Let me just show you this thing. Um, this axis of the line I'm just gonna draw this one again so it can be distinguished from other line this is my y equal to minus one that's my axis of the line axis of the curve or natural line so that now this graph from this line is three up that's amplitude one two three or it's gonna go three below one two three so that's amplitude and within this values zero to 360 degree this is the period of the regular sine theta but here I have three sine two x that means the value of B is two or in another words within this domain this graph will have two complete revolution or two complete cycles see that one cycle over here from here to here that's one cycle and this is another cycle okay and this value 3 sine 2x minus 1 equal to 0 see over here this graph is intersected in four places 1 2 3 4 let me just circle them that's one place that's two place that this is the third place and this is the fourth place and I already find some of them now when you divide it it's completely different case. I'm going to keep that at the end. Let me find out all the angles. Then I'm going to divide it by two. Okay. So this is the two of the values. We got that. Okay. I got that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add 360 degree with this primary value or the calculator value. Okay. Why I'm going to do that? Uh, let me just find out first. Then I'll tell you 19.5 plus 360 degree. That's going to give me 379, 379.5 degree. I did find one, one more angle over here. So I'm going to add also 360 degree with that. So 360 plus 160.5. That's going to give me 520.5. Okay. The reason I have done this, uh, look at this. If I have this first angle 19.5. Okay. Now, from here to here, I got 19.5. So if I go all the way again, 360 degree and come back over here, this revolution from this where it ends, okay, that's OA and this is A prime. So I'm gonna move from A prime. So if I go and move from A prime and come back again to this position, that means I'm adding 360 degree. Okay, so this 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 uh, angle theta, okay, whatever that one is, and if I add 360 degree with that, I'm coming back to the same position again. Since I have two complete revolution, therefore I got one of the value, and I need to get another value just adding 360 degree with that. And then the second value, uh, that's gonna be in the second quadrant. Okay, I'm going to add 360 with that too. So the, in this case, this is my second value and that one was uh, 160, 160.5. So if I go all the way from here to here again, I need to add 360 degrees. See from here, if I go all the way and come back here again, so I need to add 360 degree, right? So that's that. Now I have 
four different values. One, two, three, four. But I need to find out x, not 2x. Therefore, x is going to be, I'm going to divide this 19.5 by 2. I'm going to end up getting 9.8, 9.8 degree. And then 160.5 divided by 2. And that's going to give me 80.3, 80.3. And 379.5 divided by 2, that's 189. 8 degree and lastly 520.5 divided by 2 and that's actually 260.3 degree that's four angles now let me see this say that first one was 9.8 this is 90 degree and this is 45 degree okay see that point that's 9.8 that's the first one 9.8 let me write down that's 9.8 degree and then 80.3 so it's th this is my 90 degree and it's over here so 80.3 degree this this particular place is 80.3 then i have 189.8 so 189 it's this is 80 so over here 189.8 and lastly uh, this is my 270 degree so it's little before 270 and that's 260.3 260.3 one two three four values and this is four values if you add again 360 degree with this then it's gonna go out range okay so we don't want to do that so that's four places and this is our values what we need to do, uh, this, is, this is very good math and easy to get a uh, number because you can uh, recheck this values if you are right or not. Okay, I'm going to put this value over here and see if I got 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is supposed to give me 0 0.3333 or close to that because those were round of values. So let's see. Sine 2 times 9.8, that's going to give me See that 0 0.335, so this is pretty much okay. So I can tick mark it that this is okay. And next I'm gonna do sine two times 80.3, 80.3, and that's gonna give me again 0 0.33, so this is okay as well. Now sine two times 189.8, and that's also gives me 0 0.33. And lastly, sine two times 260.3 that's gonna give me 0 0.33 so this is also okay so there are four values I solved that one now if I add similarly I just want to show you that if you add 360 degree with that just to show you this how this thing works now when you add 360 plus 379.5 that's gonna give you 739 okay i hope you can see that 739.5 degree and when you divide it by 2 then that becomes 369 369.8 okay now if i put this value over here sine 2 times 369.8 then it's also give you 0 0.335 so this is also valid value but look at the question question asking uh, we have to find out the value of x in between 0 to 360 degree this is above 360 degree this is out range okay out range so we are not gonna be able to include that in our answer so our final answer should be these four values okay um, after I solve something like this, some uh, trigonometric functions like this with cos and tan, then I'll show you how to find these angles using the formula. That's the trick uh, we're going to use uh, to save time. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day.